Welcome to Turn 5's five-year review of the cheapest, luxury, fastest SUV coming out of Germany from 2008. The Cayenne GTS. This thing is a beast. I bought this thing on a snowy March back in 2017. I am such a shrewd negotiator <laughs> that I negotiated 80% off of its original MSRP. <laughs> well, this bad boy started at over $110,000 with its options. I'm like, no, no, no. I will give you $20,000 and some change. They're like, put her here, Mr. McLeod. Put her in the old vice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's what I did. And impressively, the car has only lost 50% more of that value. So, Today's car market is a little bit weird. Yes. I would say I could get about $15,000 for it now. Okay. Right? I mean, maybe on a really good day, 20. Then you'd make it all back. Then I'd make it all back. The key to owning a used Porsche, unless you have that original hundred plus thousand dollars that you want to spend on a car, is to buy it slightly used. You get it a generation old. Every time. Yes because this thing has been amazing. So five years, we have had this Cayenne GTS. 405 screaming German bald eagles of horsepower. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what their national bird is. Leave it in the comments if you know what their national bird is. It's probably a chickadee or something. <laughs> uh, the beauty about this Cayenne, so I have owned several 911s. Yep. This is the first practical Porsche I have owned because it hauls the family, yes. albeit the back seats are not that much bigger than the 911s, but it does fit. <laughs> I mean, you and I can fit I back I can fit there. back there. So it's a lot better than a 911. Coming from Northern Minnesota, some people are crazy enough to drive a Cayman in the winter. Some people are more mature. Oh. They like to sip their drink of choice, right? Why, why don't you they show like them how really, mature you are right here? They like to smell the breeze. They like to hear nature, right? <laughs> <laughs> that is why this Porsche Cayenne GTS is the perfect all-around SUV. It's fast. Yep. I believe in 2008 it was the fastest SUV production SUV on the market. If you got the turbo, not it, the GTS. Right. It also, uh, I think the next generation still probably has the world record towing. Yep. They it's towed like a... 84 or 85 tons or something. I think they towed a 747 or it something. It was an Air France jet. But at any rate, they drove it from the factory, towed the thing, drove it back home, and no issues. Fantastic. So this right here, factory setting, nothing added to it, tow 7,700 pounds. We religiously tow our 4,000 pound camper long distances. Yes. We go eight hours one way, obviously eight hours back. I mean, hopefully, right? <laughs> <laughs> we do that trip at least once a year. Yep. We do plenty of two hour one way trips with this thing, with the air suspension, it is mwah, chef's kiss perfection. Well, it levels itself, which is great. You could use, uh, if you wanted to, uh, equalizer, sway bar, hitch. We just tow it and go it. <laughs> you know, they all say that, tow and go. <laughs> <laughs> but with the air suspension, it's been fantastic. A lot of people might knock the air suspension that there could be problems. Uh, it's not as good as steel springs. If you're on the freeway, something happens, you're out of commission. And a lot of the cars with air suspension have been retrofitted to have springs instead. So if you have one with air suspension, it's a little bit more rare. With this GTS, not only did this get optioned out with PDCC, but because of the air suspension, we have all these different modes. We got five ride heights, but really four ride heights and one loading height. Yep. You can't drive it in the lowest setting. Naturally, the GTS is 10 millimeters lower. For all you Americans, that's 0.4 of an inch. <laughs> well, 
I don't know how much 10 millimeters does when you're driving an SUV, but I mean, it's pretty cool. We've owned several SUVs as well. This is the most fun one I've ever owned in my life. Well, it's a performance car in disguise. Like we said, it's got 400 horse, 405 horsepower. It's got 300 and, do you know the torque figure? 390 no. something, 360 something. Let's call it 369 semi-factual turn five torques. Yes. It was hard for me not to burst out in the sun there. <laughs> Again, we'd have to copyright that. Yep. We just don't want to go through that process. A couple of bad things that have happened to this, and not even bad things. We have had an oil pressure solenoid that went out. Think of it as like a variable valve timing solenoid that adjusts okay. some things up front as the German eagles are screaming. You know, it, it, it does something. Why can't we say German chickadees? Excuse me, German chickadees, <laughs> as they chirp their way across the pavement. That oil pressure solenoid, we had a sensor in the rear air suspension. It, the, it wouldn't relieve pressure. Yep. So that was replaced. I've had a high pressure fuel pump go out. Which you've seen us get it fixed on the channel. I think almost all these things you've pretty much seen on the channel. You go back far enough, yeah. I think they're on there. I just replaced the LCD screen in the instrument cluster. How was that? Was it hard? That was not hard at all. And we would have made a YouTube video about it, but I found YouTube videos that are way better than what we can do. I and mean, we're dumb, so if you want to see dumb, we could have done it for you. But we didn't want to do anybody genuinely needing to know how to do that swap a disservice in making a video. So let's talk about, and I think that's pretty much all that has gone wrong with this. In five years of daily driving and towing, Yep. With this Cayenne GTS. Talk about prices. If you are trying to buy a Porsche and go to the Porsche dealer to get the work done. You are going to be spending an arm and a leg. You might as well just buy a brand new Porsche and have the warranty. Yes. I happen to be lucky and you are a product of my expansive luck to have found Mike, Magic Mike, our mechanic. He is great. <laughs> he is absolutely fantastic. He worked at Porsche, he worked at Audi, he has seen Cayennes all the time, 911s, he'll do it all, yep. the cons, right? So he has replaced all of those issues for us for at a minimum half the cost of what the Porsche dealer would cost. I did a little bit of adding up in my head, again, semi-factual, turn <laughs> five, math. In the five years I have owned this car, I would say I have put less than $7,000 into it with maintenance. That's pretty good. I'm not counting, I did do the plugs and wires by myself, but that is normal maintenance for any car. And amazingly, a tenth of that was you replacing the front brakes. Exactly, the front brakes were a thousand bucks because, fun fact about the 2008 Cayenne GTS, the beast of all beasts of Porsche used SUVs <laughs> is that the front brakes come off of the 997 GT3. That's pretty cool. So just like the So you pretty much have a GT3. It is actually a GT3. <laughs> so. They just had to name it differently so yes. people wouldn't get confused. <laughs> just like the new Cayman GT4 has basically the front end of a GT3, that's like this. I mean, it's, yeah. I mean, it's just the brakes, but let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> the brakes mean everything. <laughs> the nice thing, honestly, though, about having the big GT3 brakes is that it does stop. So this, this mammoth of a German chickadee screaming beast weighs 5,000 pounds. So it does need some good brakes to stop it. And it stops as fast as a Porsche came in on the snow. It does, which that's another video. Oh, that it was also a big one. Bottoms out on about the same <laughs> hump as your Cayman does. Yeah. <laughs> the two, in 2008, the GTS did come with a manual. Yep. Do I wish I got the manual? Absolutely. They were over what you paid for a similarly priced, they were about $10,000 more when you bought your car for a manual. Now today, they are easily three times the price. And it is, they're just hard to find because yep. in the lineup of Porsches, 
the GTS is kind of a niche market. They don't make as many as the other models. Yep. Because you get a lot of the packaging um, from, a, let's say, a, a Cayenne S. If you go to the GTS, you get automatic uh, some performance upgrades. You get black trim. Uh, it's it's automatically before you do any adjustments with the settings. It's 10 millimeters. How many American inches? 0.4. Lower. Um, so the GTS is kind of that special mark that if you're a true car guy, you're gonna know that a GTS is more special. Because you'll see it's lower and you see the black accents. The front of the GTS also has, it does have its own fascia, but it's more reminiscent with the turbo than it is with the other models. Yep. The rear diffuser, it's not a diffuser, well, it's a GT3 diffuser. Yeah. The, rear, <laughs> the rear GT3 diffuser is unique to this car. The side skirts are unique to this car. I'm blabbing on because I absolutely love this thing. I have spent most of my time in the passenger seat. It's got great seats. After five years of riding in the passenger seat, great seats. Uh, great ride quality after five years of riding in it. I don't know how the camera work would show because we were going down a really bumpy road, but great ride. It's super comfortable for anybody else in the car other than the driver. One more interior. Look at, it is cloaked in Alcantara. The headliner, the seats, the inserts of the seats. Yep. It is really a beautiful place to be in and not, it is unmatched with anything else, especially back from 2008. 100%. So I guess what, you're, what we're saying is, don't be afraid to buy a used Porsche Cayenne with the caveat of you need, absolutely need, just like Tyler needs to continue to grow his beard, you need to find an expert independent mechanic in order to keep your investment rolling. You know, I think they need uh, just some loving on this beard. <laughs> I mean, I like it. That's, you got it going on, boy. <laughs> it has navigation. Wouldn't use it. No, because a lot of the maps are outdated because you can't get an updated map anymore. And you give us some creature comforts of a, of a newer car. You don't have Apple CarPlay. Yep. You can't plug in your phone. But you buy these things. No, It's not a paid sponsor, but it's a monster, a doohickey that <laughs> goes to your... The camera just died. I picked up the phone. I can't see what I'm recording, but we're doing it. Really, the camera was like the audience. It was like, okay, you guys just be done. That's it. <laughs> so I suppose that's our cue to wrap this thing up. Five years of ownership, 2008 Cayenne GTS. I would recommend it 10 out of 10 times. It is fast, 147 mile an hour car. It can tow 7,700 pounds. Well, 7,716 to be precise, because you need that extra six. They feet. wanted us to end, stop rambling. Oh, okay. <laughs> Drives fantastic, is not a maintenance nightmare, mm -mm. and parts are still readily available. They are. Go out, pick up a Cayenne GTS, rip it up and down the road, have fun, stay away from the cops, and we'll see you next week. Make sure to awkward high five, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And you gotta make sure you tell all of your friends to subscribe, because we are getting to that thousand subscriber mark, which is very important to us. Yes. Just like this Cayenne GTS is to me. Thank you all for tuning in. We'll see you next week. <laughs>